from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Tiger Brands has invested 632 million rand since 2016 at its home and personal care plant in Isando, with the latest planned upgrades being two new production lines in the aerosol factory, which produces signature household brands Doom and Aroma. Malene Arnoldi visited the site. The two new fully automated production lines in Tiger Brands' aerosol factory will be up and running by October and will cost about 178 million rand to build. Tiger Brands also recently spent 50 million rand on upgrades to its warehouse, which serves as storage for the three surrounding factories comprising the HPC site. The HPC business comprises 18 brands, including Doom, Aroma, Peaceful Sleep, Jays, Ingrams, Dolly Varden, Perfect Touch, No Hair and Status. HPC plant manager Cleo Nyker shares what output capacity improvements the two new production lines will bring. It's two new Italian lines um, planned to come in around about uh, July, July, August. Uh, so from a capacity point of view, so we're currently looking at around 300,000 uh, cans outputs a day. Uh, with the new lines we're looking at well over 420,000 uh, per day cans uh, coming out of that facility. Uh, in terms of technology, uh, it's the latest technology, fully automated line. Uh, incorporated in there is uh, aspect of quality and cost as well. Um, it's a really mean issue. The HPC site was among the first that Tiger Brands kitted out with solar panels, with many more built and renewable energy procurements to follow at its 35 manufacturing sites across the country. The company aims to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Nika unpacks the company's energy efficiency and factory optimization initiatives at the site. Tiger, especially on the site here, is really pushing uh, to lower our carbon footprint. Uh, so we're really trying to drive not just from a technology point of view, but also from our people point of view. So one of the things we're doing is looking at the three P's, which is looking at the process, plant and people aspects. Uh, when we're look looking at people aspects, we're educating and developing people to try and be more aware in terms of the environment, the use of energy, uh, simple aspects like if uh, lights, uh, if equipment is running and not in use, switch it off. Uh, basic concepts such as that. Uh, we're also looking at the process to optimize the process to be more efficient from an energy usage point of view, as well as the plant and equipment related to gain more energy efficient equipment in the plant from, from a point of view from the pumps, motors. Uh, so what we've done currently is uh, in terms of the solar panels, we've installed solar panel capacity at our aerosols and at our consumer uh, facility. Uh, output is just over 400 uh, watts per day. Um, already we've seen huge improvements. We've just got it live recently in the last month or so. Uh, we've already seen uh, plus 11 percent uh, usage uh, drop in our energy uh, usage so already big improvement on that apart from that uh, we're also investing in a full um, in our LED lighting across the entire uh, facility um, apart from that as well in our warehouse we've just uh, uh, invested in about 50 million rand in terms of uh, uh, natural lighting uh, in the warehouse so a lot of initiatives uh, from a greener uh, uh, technology point of view. The HPC business is currently focused on driving profit growth in the sub-Saharan Africa region, particularly by leveraging four global trends in developing products and packaging suited to the modern consumer. The trends include health and well-being, individuality and expression, naturality and sustainability, as well as affordability and ease of access. For example, Tiger Brands noted that COVID-19 enhanced customers' awareness on hygiene and germs, as well as overall wellness in the home. The company also realized that consumers prefer to use brands that have environmental protection in mind and equally strive to get more value out of products when inflation hits hard. To this end, Tiger Brands has continuously considered the right product types, formulations and size offerings to suit market needs. HPC marketing manager Lungelwa Muwagi discusses the company's approach to research and development. 
that's quite simple, especially when it comes to our pest category, and I'll use that um, specifically as an example. So what we find generally is that in the pest category, we really are uh, beholden to the climate, we really are beholden to how uh, different pests and gardens mutate and grow. A lot of the work that goes in, in particular with R&D, um, is studying those patterns, how they change, making sure that the product of the future, or the doom that we will offer you in the future, really is future-proofed and built um, to withstand whatever the, the mutation will be in let's say for five years time. Um, so that, that's one of the, the key examples that I'm, I would use. But I think um, Tiger Brands obviously really is a consumer-centric organization. Um, we are consumer-obsessed as is one of our values and anything that we do develop really is centered around what those needs are and, and the work we do as a marketing team is to make sure that we anticipate them and we can you know, tell before they come, uh, before they come to war. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.